Hello, my good gentle people. I'm Lord Zerus. Welcome back to my castle. Um, it's gonna be a little while probably before we get another full episode of the show going. So, I just wanted to check in with the community real quick and do something I haven't done before, which is read the comments. We've come a long way since the channel started. If you go back to our first video and read the first comment, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> But, uh, you know, ever since then, support has been growing. We've gotten some really awesome comments from people. All right, well, let's see what you had to say. Uh, uh, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Our first message is from Teutonic Penguin. He writes, your videos are hysterical. Ha ha. And you actually do a great job with your projects and awesome editing. Keep up the good work. If you haven't seen Teutonic Penguin, you should go over to his channel and check it out. Looks like he's an ACS or Buhurt fighter, which is some live steel fighting. What would a fight look like between someone using rattan and someone using live steel? Hmm. Ah, Lord Cirrus. It is I, Teutonic Penguin. Prepare for battle. Okay, Teutonic Penguin, bring it on! Wonder! Whoa, where'd you get that other big sword from? Never mind, here comes the pain! Huh? Oh no! Ah! Uh, oh, oh no, 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 that's a terrible idea! Oh yeah, yeah, let's not do that. No. And we also heard from Sam Stapleton, who has a YouTube channel of his own, where he works on his armor. Sam writes, I really like your helmet customizing. I did a video of me customizing my helmet on my YouTube channel. Check it out. You guys remember my old helmet that I started with? Well, he had that exact same helmet. So I call this helm the Nose Decapitator. 2000. You might recall in one of my previous videos, Lord Zerus proposes to the Queen, I had a run-in with a douchey barbarian, and I had that exact problem with that helmet. I'll headbutt you right now. Okay. Oh, fuck. That pain I felt, that was caused by my helmet, which shifted down and cut the bridge of my nose, and not because I'm a wuss. See? Not a wuss. Sam is pretty good at welding. Not only does he work on armor, he also does these incredible miniature swords, and he makes figurines from, you know, old parts like uh, broken pistons and things of that nature. So he does some really interesting metal work. A little mini smoker. Well, I'll go ahead and open up that door. Look at all that. We'll be smoking them hot dogs here in a minute. I'll leave a link in the description and you can go check it out if you'd like. Other YouTubers to leave positive comments included Tyler Thorne, who has a channel all about filmmaking and working in the entertainment industry. He says, Lord Zerus and I might get along pretty well. Ha ha. That may or may not have to do with a common love of David Bowie. You'll just have to see the Labyrinth episode to find out more. And Avery Alex, who's a longtime high-ranking member of the SCA. He commented, 60 seconds in and already I want to earn a degree from a new college. A lot of how-to videos make everything seem so flawless. Really appreciate you showing that it's a struggle that really helps us stop trying to be perfectionists. Actually, that's kind of ironic, because I have a raging case of OCD. The amount of time I spend trimming down audio peaks is redonkulous. He has a YouTube channel that covers lots of topics, including tips for better fighting. And Uncharted Territory, who has a channel about Dungeons & Dragons and has drawing tutorials. His comment says, I'm happier than I've ever been right now. You rock! No Uncharted Territory, you rock! These are all great comments, so make sure to give these YouTubers some love, okay? Lord Zerus is a relatively new YouTube channel, but uh, we're really lucky to have lots of really supportive viewers. Thank you guys for all these really nice messages. Next comment is from David Ip. David says, Love your videos, my lord. Pray tell, might we see some more fighting videos? Or mayhap a training video with you hitting a palanon? I guess David noticed that I'm not such an experienced fighter. So, he had some advice for me. He says, One, never wind up before throwing a shot. It's a dead giveaway that you're going to attack. Two, footwork. Experiment keeping out of reach until you're ready to launch a barrage of strikes, then dart out of range. Be unpredictable. Three, chain attacks together. Never just throw one shot. A boxer is most successful when striking in combinations. Change your target with each strike. Four, lastly, experiment with shorter swords. 
They are lighter and faster. I can transition between shots quicker, and I am more comfortable at super close range. I always hovered around 32 and 36 inches. Thanks for the tips, David. We'll try to buckle some more swash as soon as possible. Ricky Penino says, So, from personal experience, I can say that points do help with how far you can move your arms. He's referring to that part in A Shoulder to Grind On when I couldn't really move my arms very far, and he's saying a point ties can probably help me move them a lot farther. Hey, Ricky, that's a very good point. And I'm glad to hear that I'm helping some people with their reenactment game. Azenization writes, I am just transitioning from Bellagarth to SEA, and your videos are an inspiration of the fun of rattan sports. Thank you for making them. Well, thank you, Azenization. And Mel Whitnell writes, Newbie from Dragonwall here, and this is super helpful since I want to make a sword with a cross guard, since Hema Brain hates basket hilts. This has given me a fantastic model to work with. Thank you so much. Well, glad I got help, Edmund. Snacks writes, This was a super in-depth tutorial, and it really bothers me with other tutorials. You never see them make mistakes, and it always skips forward, and they just make it hard to follow. This was easy to follow, was done by a human being, and showed the whole process start to finish while being hilarious along the way. Instant sub. Looking forward to watching all of your videos. Well, thanks a lot, Snacks. That really means a lot. And Lori Northland wrote what has to be one of my favorite comments of all time. OMG. Like me with the rivets. I'm so intimidated. I was feeling you. Finally, a video that shows the struggles for such simple things. Want a chin strap that is comfortable slash safe slash functional? Geez, fellas. Might not be able to get my armor padded before the next practice, but I'll try. LOL. As the armor wears, it's like one rivet left? It'll hold. No rivet left? Use some paracord for now. Leather strap broke? Eh, just duct tape it. Then it holds and stays that way for the next three months while you contemplate if the struggle to fix it is worth it. LOL. Miss Fortunite writes, As a professional artist, this feels like an internal monologue of every project. I hear that, Miss Fortunite. On Choppy Boy, Tigerson100 wrote, This is cool. I would love to see one on how to make youth combat swords and other weapons. I found the specs, but can't find how to actually do it anywhere. Well, I'll certainly try to see if I can help you out, Tigerson100. No guarantees, though. Now, some of you really wanted to talk about my voice for some reason. John Dugan says, Almost sound like Grover from Sesame Street. I wish, that guy's the boss. Rick Lambot said, Oscar the Grouch does LARP? Oh no no no, Rick, you don't want to mess with Oscar the Grouch. That guy means business, okay? Slick, she writes, You're trying too hard with the voice. Just be yourself, man. Great vid, bro. I don't know what you mean, Slick. She, this is my real voice. But, uh, is this what you want to hear? La donna immobile, qual più mal vento. Muta de accento y de pensiero Siempre un amable de guiardo viso Impianto y riso e mendoblero La donna e mobile cual pluma al vento Muta de accento y de pensiero Nick Davis started a really interesting discussion when he commented on my video, Not Gonna Do It, uh, which was all about me refitting my helmet with SCA padding. Uh, he asks, doesn't foam transfer energy into your head? One would think a padded coif would be better. And um, honestly, Nick did, uh, you know, struck a chord with that one. I, I am rethinking my helmet setup right now. Uh, I did respond to him and explain to him that the padding in my helmet does leave something to be desired. I do kind of come away from fights uh, feeling some headaches, and uh, apparently that is an indication of brain damage. So I did order some new padding from a company called Shock Tech. Some of you might be familiar with them. Um, they're taking a really long time to fulfill their order. I'm kind of worried that I may never get it. And you can look forward to me reviewing and comparing some new padding in a future video, um, and I will keep you updated on that. All right, well, thank you, Nick, for that message. And finally, I got a really amazing message from Brinjolfir in Retier. I apologize if I butchered that pronunciation. He says, Lord Zerus, I showed your video to my lady, Her Eminence Alush. She finds your videos greatly entertaining and agrees your attitude is essential to the SCA. We would like to send you a token of our esteem from the stellar kingdom of Anseora. I do many things and am especially good at making blades. Have you a live arming dagger or a dirk for your daily wear? If so, please tell me something I might forge for you. Now, this has been one of the most 
really honestly touching messages I've received so far. Now, I've been in touch with Bring Jover, and uh, he's been sending me some really amazing photos of some really amazing craft work. It looks like he's gonna be sending along something really special, and um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated, but I don't wanna spoil it right now, because I wanna make a special little video about it. Now that we've heard what you have to say, please enjoy this little gag reel I put together from bloopers from my last video, A Shoulder to Grind On. Enjoy! I had to get my armor all battle ready. Uh, do you have a question? Your thumb is funky. My, oh, thank you. From the top, I guess? Yep. Uh, Action. what's my name again? Like your weird thumb. Look what it's doing. Have to be careful if it affects a funky thumb. Always be aware of funky thumb. Funky thumb affects one out of every 20 fighters. So that, oh no, I broke the bag. Oh no. These clumsy hands. These clumsy hands of mine do all kinds of terrible things. <laughs> of course my horse, of course my horse will come and kick the bucket. You guys know that song? Of course a horse, a horse of course will come and kick your bucket when you're trying to get water from the well. A horse will come over and tell you, hey, just fuck it. I'm gonna kick your bucket, so you just better suck it. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, maybe I should pick this. Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't even reach the floor. I can't. Oh. Er, er, er. Oh, man. Uh, uh. All right. What are I talking about? Check that out. Yeah. Working out. Grooving to the oldies. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Well, I couldn't go up into the night and I'm a ladies' man and something like that. I don't know the song. I really don't know it. I wasn't alive during that era. Just went right past it. So, the threadlock. Oh, I guess I should have brought the threadlock out here. That would have been a good idea. I mean, come on, Zerus. This isn't your first rodeo. You know what you're doing, man. Come on. Okay, I should call away the garage and get it. Okay, here, this is the thread lock. All right, let's call it a day. I think we're all, we're over budget. Yeah, this I think the PA is getting cranky. She's been cranky. Oh. The camera department's on triple overtime. That's also me. <laughs> uh, that was just me rambling at you for a minute. I hope you enjoy that, and uh, I'm gonna edit the shit out of that. All right, everybody. Well, it's been fun catching up with you. Write in with your own questions and comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember our motto, non dissimere utsuje. Don't be afraid to suck. I'll see you on the battlefield. This is Teutonic Penguin, and I want you to subscribe to Lord Zerus for more original content. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to read The Tale of the Order of the Blue Maiden. It's a high-flying adventure. Available now on Amazon, iTunes, Barnes & Nobles, and Gobo. Or go to thetale.com. You've never heard a tale like this.